Hey guys, one of the packages I have on the Asus store is called Hot Text. Hot Text is an extension for Angui that lets you easily add things like uh, damage text floating over the characters' heads. If you played World of Warcraft, it used to be called Scrolling Combat Text back in the day. Well, this is, this is essentially what this uh, extension allows you to do. One of the more common questions I get in regards to this package is how to allow it to show things like uh, health bars floating over the character's heads in addition to the damage. Well, in this tutorial I will show you exactly how to do that. I started by creating a brand new project with nothing else in it. I'm gonna go ahead and import uh, a hot text package. Well, the first time you import it, you're gonna get these three errors here. That's because there's no NGUI present. Assuming you have a version of NGUI, you can actually import NGUI right now. Or if you don't have it, you can just double click on this NGUI distribution and import it like that. But since I have a full version of NGUI, I'm gonna import that instead. Tap back to where I have it and import it as is. Well, they've done that. All the errors are gone and the plugin is fully usable. I'm gonna go ahead and restore my layout that I have saved. It's something I do for convenience, so you can just ignore the step. Let's open up one of the examples I have with hot text. Second one would do nicely. In this example, there's just a single orc in the scene and you can click on him to have the damage show up. Fairly simple, right? Let's add a health bar to him. When you actually play the game and do something and then pause it, and navigate to the scene and uh, select the UI. Eh, this is not easy to see now, is it? Let's change that. Uh, layers and get rid of the default layer. There we go. And this giant ass gizmo, I'm gonna reduce it down. Okay, so now, if you actually select it, there's a, an instance of the hot text prefab here. And on this prefab, there is a script called UI Follow Target. UI Follow Target is the script that follows a 3D game object and repositions uh, the object that it's on to be right at the point above the 3D game object. So technically, we can just add things to it right now. But of course, if we do that, it's not going to stay in the game because we're playing the game right now. So stop it and let's add, find and add an instance of the hot text prefab here so this is the hot text we can add things to it for example if i wanted to add a specific sprite say this uh, flag right here i could do that And uh, if I actually save it like this, guess what's gonna happen? There's a flag right here. So that's the idea though. Since uh, hot text is just an object in the UI hierarchy, you can add stuff to it if you like. So if I wanted to add a health bar, I would probably want to add a progress bar. Let's do that. Now that we have a progress bar and we change it up to be something more appropriate looking, we can also, of course, reposition it. And then just save it. Now if we play the game, there's gonna be a slider right above the character's head. Of course, we can take it one step further 
the slider so it doesn't uh, hinder the hot text itself. Well, that's the basic idea. Oh, and just one last hint. On the hot text, there are a bunch of uh, curves you can modify. Offset curve, alpha curve, scale curve. They do pretty much exactly what you expect them to be. Like this curve, for example, the scale curve is what makes it bounce up when it first appears. It starts at the scale of zero, then uh, animates in, and clamps back at the scale of one. One being 100%, by the way, 100% of the size of the font. If I did not want this bounce effect, I could just do this. And now, if I hit apply and actually play it, there will be no bounce. The offset curve is what actually controls how far the text will move. Here, you can actually see it be 40 units, which means it's 40 pixels up from where it starts. If I didn't want it to move, I could just do this. Oh yeah, hit apply first, then play. And as you can see, it simply fades out in place. It doesn't actually go anywhere. And as you might have guessed, the fading out is actually controlled by this curve, the alpha curve. If you didn't want it to fade out, well, you can guess what to do. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.